Hi all, welcome to my Latin America Team of the Season predictions video. This one could go one of several ways, um, because the biggest problem is we don't know with Colombia and Argentina if they may or may not get players, but I think they will, so we've at least featured them in this. So if you smash like so, you much appreciate sub to the channel if you're new for me on Twitter, G is live and all links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. And remember to check out the rest of the Team of the Season predictions that we have covered so far. We've, we're getting near the end now, we've got a couple more to do and then that wraps us up. So, LATAM, I am going of the mindset of a squad of 18 and we have gone with, say, 3 5 content cards. Like, it's going to be hard to say um, who features, but we will take it from there and just hope for the best. So, Goalkeeping wise, we've went with Fargas from Atlas, and um, the Colombian goalie has also got an inform. But even in general, he's kept a considerable amount of clean sheets. The biggest problem as well, when you try and do your um, analysis, how legally Mexico um, work, it's like Apertura and like Clausura. So you try always make sure that the stats that you get kind of make sense, and you're like, have I got this? Have I got that? And it's like goalkeeping wise, like Corona and Vargas have been the two best goalies. From there, I'm kind of like toiling. <laughs> so I was like, I thought Andrada usually does all right in Argentina, and I was like, mm, I just stick with Mexico. But we went with that. Um, Fabra has been not too bad for Boca Juniors. He's been some games. He's been on the cusp of like being in Team of the Week. There was one week he had like three assists and. He didn't even get in Team of the Week from a left back. I was like, you've got three assists from left back and you haven't featured. Like, what do you need to do? But, um, yeah, so he's been pretty steady for what I've seen, but it's where he happens or not is a different matter. Like, like it's an EA pick, I think, is where I've kind of thought about. Uh, Leun seems to be slowly in back to the form of old. I could be wrong, just going from what I've seen of... Um, Monterey. I know they've not been overly impressive, but like individual player wise, like um Leon Gallardo um definitely been consistent. Like Gallardo's like a left mid be playing left back for what I've seen um from like the stats. I could always like to look over if I've, and it seemed odd, I was like I thought if it if it's been working then fair play to the guy, I thought that's what matters. Canelo um, obviously has an inform, but even then, his goals and assists for the season, well, seasons, if you want to call it, it's, or tournaments, whatever you want to call it, um, been very consistent. Men has been unlucky not to have an inform at least on one occasion, um, but still, regardless, fair play to him. Um, Romo's an odd one. He has a base card as a centre back, his inform's a centre mid, and he's been playing mostly centre mid. Um, like CDM sentiment, but regardless, um, he deserves in, and that's my like not just opinion. Like he's got like decent amount of like goals, with, like he's got goals and assists and like clean sheets. So he's kind of been all round. So fair play to the guy. Uh, Funes Mori, um, there is talk of him changing from Argentina to Mexico for the national team. So um, not quite sure if. That could come in effect before his team this season, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so Funes Mori, somehow another player that's not had an inform this year, but still deserves um, mentioned. And, like, definitely deserves a spot for a Latin team this season. Gignac, I'm probably over boosting, but I'm trying to kind of put it in the mindset of whoever was play, whoever's player of the year gets the highest rating. That's kind of the way I looked at it. And also, he's an 81. So I'm trying to just boost him even more than I should be. Um, so that's how he gets in. Rodriguez has been banging goals for fun. And he's been like top, he's near enough being like top goal scorer. So it's like Rodriguez kind of deserves that spot. Then over to Argentina, Bora has been scoring goal, a um, decent amount of goals in Argentina. And obviously if you're trying to be consistent with ratings, that kind of seems the most logical. Give um, somebody a standout from um, the league. The subs, or is there, like, even the subs, I should we call it, because obviously we're trying to say 18 players. Corona, um, as I said, was the next best goalkeeper in any of the leagues that I was looking over, like Colombia, Argentina, and 
uh, Mexico. I had to think there for a second. I was like, uh, Mozo, another consistent defender that's been very impressive. Nothing too fancy, but done the job in for um, Unam. Um, America's Jorge Sanchez has been very consistent. Nothing really fancy about what he's been doing, but he's been consistent on clean sheets and assists front, so and the odd goal were needed for what I've seen. Uh, Cabrera, for from a Colombian point of view, been very consistent. Seems to be one of these players. If honest, would be quite intriguing to see if he actually would come to Europe and do a half decent job. I feel like he could kind of do that. Henestrosa, um seems to be like this could be like, like in line with his um, kick off card last year, which was a fun card. Um, so he definitely deserves um, a team season, and like he's been producing goals and assists for uh, Junior. Rodriguez, the Argentine veteran, always a good good character. If you go on Twitter, there's some really good fun videos of like what he does on like when it's kick off. He always like to nutmeg the the ref and the assistants, and that's brilliant. It's like it's like a comp there's like a compilation of different videos, and it's quite amusing. Andrade is like the top scorer in Argentina, so it's very hard to kind of justify ignoring him. And he's actually been unlucky not to bag an in for him, but I suppose that's just with how maybe the Argentine Argentine league's been seen by EA uh, and like say Colombia due to licensing these days. And then for content, I've gone with Camilo, um, the Brazilian forward, um, been getting goals for Mazatlan and obviously as an inform as well, but I feel we deserve it could be an objective or an SBC card. Uh, Sand, Argentine veteran for Lanus, definitely deserves it. He's been scoring goals for fun, not just in the league, but in like the Libra, um, in like the um, Conanball tournaments as well. So fair play him. Um, can't go wrong with that one. Then Carlos Tevez for a flashback. It's going to happen. Like we, it's almost feels like inevitable, and that's why he's like ninety three rated. Boost him up to like a team season card of old. Seems very logical. Um, Lucas Barrios we've actually pondered as well as another potential flashback. Um, he obviously was a good back in day in Europe and that would not surprise me. Fidel Martinez could be a shout um, for a team this season, where it be a moments, objective, SBC card, and then Henry Martin, another one that I'd kind of pondered as well, so that my last kind of shout. But um, Barrios and maybe say either Fidel or Martin, maybe take the last spot potentially for content, you never know. But let me know folks in the comments down below for a lot of time who you think could feature. Let me know if there is anyone obvious I've missed because as much as I try and do my homework, it's never always easy. But smash like as always folks, we much appreciate it. Sub to the channel if you're new. I'll catch you all later.